Hey, question. I know I glossed over it, but you mentioned the Enclave. Ugh, I knew I shouldn't have told you that. The guy we're going after was part of the Enclave. Do you know him? No one really knew him, but we knew about him. He was this quiet kid who took trips with his dad to the surface for bonding. Then one day, his dad didn't come back. Hmm. And he started using a German accent for some reason. That's odd. Okay. What was life in the Enclave like? It was a lot stricter than life down here, that's for sure. You got up early every day, did the same exercises every day, and then worked until you collapsed into a coma they called sleep. <laughs> I miss the people, but I don't miss the grind. A good training regiment is important. Isn't the Enclave basically always at war with everyone else? Wow, way to generalize. There have always been zealots like that, but they're the minority. They seem to be a very vocal and murderous minority. That's what happens when you vote a psychotic murderer into office twice. But hey, hindsight is twenty twenty. So you don't share their opinions? I don't think that mutants should be purged, but I do think that an American needs to be in charge, not a mutant. You guys have had hundreds of years to build a stable government, and all I see is ruins and missed potential. We're working on it. Give us time. I believe you mentioned Sandlot earlier? It was this town built into the stadium. Used to be a huge market. Kind of like Junk Flea, but it didn't smell like wet rat and dead people. No, I saw the stadium. Scavs would come from all over to sell their useless crap in exchange for slightly less useless crap. Mm-hmm. The food was shit, and the people were shittier. But if you could ignore that, it was a decent place to be. All right. What value did the Enclave see in Sandlot? Enclave Command had this annoying habit of not telling people things, so I don't know for sure. Hmm. I think they wanted Sandlot to be a kind of Enclave Embassy, a place where they could communicate with the Scavs. Not a bad idea. Of course, they could only do that once they knew the town wasn't going to blow up. They sent me to make it explosion-proof. Didn't work out like they thought it would. You don't seem to be the sort to stop things from exploding. What happened to that city? Death by internal incompetence. Sandlot was divided into two groups. Maybe more, but honestly, they don't matter. There was the group that wanted to open up the town, and there was the group that wanted to isolate themselves. That sounds familiar. Neither group was better or worse than the other. They were both equally stupid, and I had to find some way to keep them in check. Most of my time there was spent keeping the peace between those two groups. I found missing people, arranged marriages, stopped a duel, blah blah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was working, for a bit. Uh, but the more problems I solved, the more obvious the differences between the groups got. Couldn't reconcile them? I thought it was fine. Thought that soon they wouldn't have any differences anymore. And just when I think I've got it under control... Mm -hmm. Some drunk idiot punches one of the group leaders in just the right way to make his neck snap like a dog <laughs> treat. <laughs> nice. After that, there was nothing I could do to stop what was coming. Sandlot burned, and all I could do was watch. Talk about an unlucky break. Mm. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Dark humor is fun. It's unfortunate that things turned out the way they did. Still, I fail to see the issue with your intervention. While I was helping people, I was also making them rely on me. Mm. They stopped talking to each other and expected me to smooth it out. I'm very good at what I do, but even I have my limits. Did you give up on the wasteland immediately after Sandlot? No, I continued on the whole hero bent for a few months. Everything ended up the same way. The few times I actually did make a difference, it just usually snapped back worse than it was before. Hmm. I think that hurt worse than just failing on its own. You did your best, but ultimately failed, and the Enclave kicked you out. Yet, they let you keep the uniform and Pip-Boy? 
They weren't just going to leave me naked in the middle of nowhere. It wasn't all charity, though. They use this pit boy to track me, make sure I don't leave Portland. Are they worried you'll screw up a mission in some other city? You're okay with the Enclave spying on you? Not really, but you get used to it eventually. Why are you called Wrench, anyway? Because I fix things with my wrench. It's not that hard. I throw spears at people, but they don't call me Spearman. How long have you been a mercenary? I've been killing idiots for fun and profit for about nine, ten years. Ooh. Been working this job pretty much ever since I left home. Good to hear you got some dirt under your nails. How do you like being a mercenary? It depends on the job, really. Some are quick and easy, others are borderline death marches. Mm -hmm. They all pay out well, though. Carter makes sure of that, even if they do take a huge cut. I never saw the draw in destroying my body for caps. Leaving your home must have been difficult. Yeah, no one was smiling when I left, least of all me. It was hard being alone at first, even with Bolt. But eventually I put on my big girl pants and made a life for myself out here. So I see. All right, let's go find Voss. Uh, disorderly chaos and a bunch of ammo. Mm -hmm. And 50 sweet rolls in this safe. I am going to get a toothache. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey. You're not the Great Voss. Yeah, I am. I've known the Great Voss since he was a child. You are clearly not him. Are you accusing me of lying? Ah, my manners escape me. I am Librarian Margaret, the intellectual beacon of Underland. It's a, uh, pleasure to meet you. I take it you don't get many humans down here. Most humans have sadly devolved into a half-savage state. Some have even regressed into communism. Oh no. Sheriff Kobe has done a fantastic job of protecting us from them. The fact that he let you through is... interesting. I'm a very interesting person. You got a problem with me? Oh no, no. Not you personally. It would be unfair to hate you for what you cannot control. Like your boorish personality, or malformed facial features, or your sickening body odor. <laughs> Thank Dear you. Boss, it's like you've never had a shower. When was the last time you took a shower? Go soak your head, robot. By the way, do you have any work for me? I suppose I do. As you can no doubt see, I tend the library. Our collection is vast, but it is missing a single book. Oh. This book was thought lost to those monsters in the living quarters until it was recovered by... Trader Smith. What's the problem? Trader Smith does nothing for free. Worse, he is rude to everyone he speaks to. Why, he's an utter... Forgive my language. Rapscallion! Oh! If you could secure the book for my collection, I'd be very grateful. In a monetary sense, of course. Which book is that? The first edition of an old world text titled Alice in Wonderland. Why is this book so important for you? It is the Great Voss's favorite book. He said his mother would read it to him almost every night. Ah, <sighs> how lovely. You say he doesn't do anything for free, but I literally bought that book for free. That lady is why I prefer human women. She's stuck in a rut, doing the same thing again and again, day after day. But she doesn't care. She's actually happy to be trapped, because then she never has to try. What is it with you and liking human women? Leave our women alone! <sighs> Not the point, boss. That, well, that's what I took away from that conversation. Anyway, I have your book. Why, yes, that's the one. Please, give it here. Here you go. Oh, it's the wrong edition. <laughs> yeah, it can. <sighs> Still, you did as asked. Here is your reward. What? Uh, you, you didn't give me anything. I prefer human women, too. 
Oh, happy birthday! The reconstruction of the handy. Hmm. And uh, my metal friends. Blazing Blazgoex, Dr. Vaughn has shattered our friend Oscar, the friendly Mr. Handy, into pieces. Do you have the spatial awareness and proper understanding of 3D space to put him back together again, Junior Adventurer? Uh, and then I guess Frederick has a diary entry here for Miss Margaret's English class. Oh, it's homework. I used to be very sad and alone. My dad is an explorer. That means he is on the surface a lot and has no time for us. Mom is also busy because she's an administrator. I tried to make friends, but all the other kids laughed at me, and that made me sad. Then one day, Mom gave me something she found on the surface. They were schematics for friends. I worked really, really hard to figure out what blueprints mean. Now, I don't need friends because I made my friends, and there's ten of them. We play a lot and have cool adventures in my room, and when I grow up, I'm a... Uh, Make a robot for everyone, so no one has to be alone. Sounds like the Enclave did not bring these robots. Oh, and, uh... Yeah, his dad really, really liked to drink. Oh, he's got a nice little, uh, playing field here. Yeah, he's playing with his toys. Very cute. Uh, hello! You must be the Overseer! A stranger. I certainly don't have anything against the Great Voss. But a new face is refreshing. Are you the robot in charge here? As co-overseer of Underland, I serve as the community's leader when the Great Voss is away. In addition, I report Underland status regularly to the Great Voss. What a coincidence! I'm looking for Voss. I should have figured that you would want to speak to the Great Voss. I would gladly take you to him, but I'm afraid that's impossible right now. Why can't I see Voss? As soon as he returned, the Great Voss locked himself in his private chambers. No one is allowed inside. Even I cannot reach him. He's running scared. You're welcome to wait until the Great Voss is ready. But otherwise, I can do nothing to help you. Come on, there's gotta be something you can do. Perhaps I misspoke. There is another way. The Great Voss was worried that he would accidentally trap himself inside his chambers or that we wouldn't be able to reach him if he was injured. He created a backup system of three keys, one for each security door. You could use those to reach him. Hmm. Where are the keys? For security reasons, only one of us is allowed to know the key's location. Trapper Johnson knows where the keys are. No. Oh. You know, that Kent guy seemed pretty smart when you talked to him. He must know how stale this place is, but he hasn't done anything to fix it. I don't get it, boss. Seems pretty simple to me. Robots can only do what they're told. And he wasn't told not to suck. I... Well... Yeah, actually. That's pretty much what I was saying. Huh. That's why we get along so well. We're of the same mind, you and I. Like two peas in a pod. Oh, you had a terminal here. Uh, scoot over, buddy. Warning, catastrophic shutdown has occurred, displaying recovered logs. Blah, 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 I don't have time for this. Blah, 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 never even wanted the kid in the first, blah, 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 not mine. I have actual work to do. Regret, uh, Voss, Emmanuel. We regret to inform you, but a dispute with the scabs. Your wife attempted to moderate between the two sides, but blah, 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 blah. Saved a private named Marcus. Blah, blah, sorry for your loss. Enclave command. She's dead. I'll never see my Trish again. I've been a fucking idiot. Blah, blah, blah. If I hadn't been exploring Vault 6, I could have... It's just me and Frederick now. He's taking this really hard. What am I going to do? I've started drinking. Yeah, that's the normal response. What? Frederick got in trouble at the school again. One of the kids insulted Trish and said she deserved to die. And, well, Frederick lost it. I don't blame him for punching little shit. The problem is that he didn't stop beating the poor... There's a darkness inside that boy. It's just under the surface. If I don't get him under control, that darkness is going to take over. That's easier said than done, though. Frederick won't open up to me, which is admittedly my fault since I was never there for him. I have to go through Trisha's stuff tomorrow. It's going to be hard, which is why I'm bringing a full flask with me. All right. Thanks for letting me use your terminal, dingus. Bricks in the face. Just kidding. Hey, it's just a joke, bro. Calm down. It's a joke. No, nah, but seriously here. Ugh. Well, that was interesting. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Knocked them all down in one go. Are you impressed? I think we've talked to every robot in Underland, except for Trapper Joe. He's got to be around here somewhere. Hostile detected. 
Oh. We got some robots here. Oh, Gord. Those are my legs. Uh, audio recording. Stable the forest field. Audio recording. You're not gonna take the glove? Hey, it's a bit too big. I don't need it, do I? Uh, no, you don't. I'll help you. Hey, thanks, Dad. Hey, what are you doing? I'm, uh, looking for something. Thought I left it here. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. Let's get going, champ. Dr. Vo Okay. That's, uh, a this bunch of robots. Uh -huh. Dad, if we don't hurry, Dr. Vaughn is gonna win! I, I know I hid some around here. Where the heck are they? Dad, Dr. Vaughn! Oh, oh, I found my, I found my booze. Good. What was that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get going, kid. What a great dad. What a great dad. Huh. Shoulder mounted machine gun. Alright. Tear into them, bolts! Hey, we got some beasts. I'm assuming these things came after the dad set this up, but it does seem like a pretty shitty dad, so maybe not. Oh, hello. Trapper Johnson's expedition log. So he's been this way. Beware the spider's trap. You've done well so far, but this is just the start of your amazing journey. Next, you'll have to conquer the Web of Shadows. Keep your wits about you, junior adventurer. Or you might find yourself a spider's next meal. I guess that's part of the adventure Freddy's dad made for him. But Trapper Johnson's expedition log. It seems that at some point, the station was divided up into sections for a junior adventurer. Whoever that is. Uh, these places seem relatively safe, all things considered, so I think I'll use them to store equipment and supplies. That way I can stay out longer during hunts. So he was hunting down here, was he? Get out of here. Prodigal Station Supply Key. Alright, alright. Oh, gross. Fuel barrels. Ooh, frag grenades. Get ready to work with numbers. And Trapper John's expedition log. You sure showed those spiders who's boss. Or should we say, Voss. Now comes the next leg in your extraordinary journey. You must defeat the Math Clops. Master of Math. Solve his deviously concocted equations and you'll be one step closer to defeating Dr. Vaughn, Junior Adventurer. Yeah, I'm not a kid anymore, so Trapper John's expedition log. The great Voss decided to bring outsiders into the labs so they can be devoured and brutalized by the mutants. I'm the only one who knows. Even Sheriff Kobe is in the dark. I have my misgivings about these tests. It seems cruel, but who am I to question the great Voss? Oh, wait. It's that noise again. Seems like it's coming from the Underworks. So maybe he went to the Underworks. Okay. What's that? Ah! If only I learned how to lockpick. I can grab the doctor's bag, but that gun's out of reach. And here's how we solve this little problem. Doop -a doop doop doop. All right, second try. Oh, oh mm -hmm. try this. Uh, yeah, there it is. Can I get to it? Uh, uh, it's so, it's so close. Third time's charm. Oh shit. That probably had the opposite effect. Nope, there we go. Got it. Aha! Oh, could be fun. These spiders didn't stand a chance, right, Dad? Dad? Where the heck is my booze? What, Frederick, what is it? Are you hurt? We dealt with the spiders. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I, I'm trying to follow... Oh, what the hell? No! Oh, ah! What the hell was that? Ah! Did I get knocked unconscious? Oh, there's... oh, I fell. I landed on rebar. That explains why my back hurts. So we're down underneath the station. Oops. Okay. Oh. Oh, a. Bloody hallway full of entrails. A bloody hallway filled. Ooh, bear trap. A bloody hallway filled with entrails. It never is a good sign. Trapper John John John. Once there was a boy who was very, very alone. His parents had left him, and no one would be his friend. That boy grew into a man, and the man refused to be alone any longer. He would bring his parents back. 
he would use what he learned to bring the dead back to life. Oh. So he's a roboticist who dabbles in necromancy, eh? I wonder if he was successful. Hello! We got some dead bodies hanging in here. Don't know who put them here. It's kind of off-putting. Ugh. Well, I saw you. I saw you little eyeballs. Think I'm scared of you? I ain't scared of you. Was that your neck squeaking? Put some grease on it, man. Brahmin head on a person's body. Bloody fingerprints. Underworks first area key card. Trapper Johnson. The man's experiment was a success in a way. The corpses he had chosen for the test rose up as if they had never died. But they were far from alive. Their minds were twisted. Their bodies decayed and broken. The man had become the father of monsters. Disgusted, he threw his children into the dark. And in the dark, they remain. Did, uh... Did Frederick make the Wendigos? Did he create the Wendigos trying to bring his mother back to life? Okay, we're following the footsteps of a ghost of some sort. Uh -huh. So now we're in a luxury apartment underneath the military base. Am I losing my mind? Trapper Johnson expedition log, go away. Oh. Oh. There's a satanic pentagram on the floor. That's what I've always wanted to see. Oh, look, it's the organ room. And it's not had a shortage of organs. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, mm, thought that was the exit. Just more meat. All right, well, this looks like a lovely place to stay. We'll have to come back here on a holiday. Well, right now, we have to find Dr. Voss and murder him. Uh-huh. Key card trapped. Twas blurred, like, and you slith blurred. They're blurred, blurred. They're all your members. Yup. It's, it's just devolving into deranged babble talk now. <sighs> Organs. I'm not scared. Trap, 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 trap. Somehow it seems to fill my head with ideas, only I don't exactly know what they are. However, somebody killed something. That's clear, didn't right? Yeah, no. Some many things. Some wide variety of things. Some plethora of things. Oh, yeah. It just keeps on get, getting... <sighs> Trapper Johnson Expedition Log! Jabberwocky. Uh, okay, that made no sense. Yeah. You're a loud one, aren't you? Another mannequin. Oh, more meat in the meat shoots. Nope, and it's gone. Hey! Oh, the, the Jabberwocky, huh? That's the Jabberwocky, is it? No? Just the one. Ugh. It's got the eyes of a robot, but it's half flesh. This is some kind of monstrosity. Glad there's only the one. I sure hope I don't get ambushed by a second one. Threat analysis. Red. Weapons. Oh, jeez. I'm not Would you believe? Would you believe there's more robots down here? And then also more beasts? Yeah. Uh, suck it, math. Trevor John. Not even math can slow you down, junior adventurer. Dr. Vaughn is nearly in your grasp. Now you'd outsmart Vaughn's army of toy soldiers. I like how his dad went to all the trouble of making these things, and then during the execution, he just got drunk. So. Trapper Johnson, I'm broken. Everything's broken. Voss, the real Voss, the other Voss, broke my mind, broke my everything. I'm trapped in my head and I can't get out. I need to get out. Someone let me out. I hope Trapper Johnson isn't too insane. He has the information I need. Are you guys still fighting things down here? Jeez. Back, Bolt. Oh, those are some bug creatures. That's new. And another 
Audio recording? Where are they? Where are they? Dad? Go ahead, Frederick. I'll catch up. Oh, uh, okay. Fuck, where is it? Where is my booze? Uh, we got some turrets up ahead. Oh, eh. Okay. Alright, and those are not turrets. Take some cover here. Oh, those are the robots you made. Danger, close. Whew! They took a beating. That armor must be pretty good then. Sorry for the nap, boss. You know how bullets make me sleepy. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's how it looked under that armor. Wow, that's neat. And more of these creatures over here. You're not getting away. Oh, okay. It's but a flesh wound. Just kidding. Sure this hurt, fucking boss. hurts. Uh, yeah. What do you want me to do about it? Hmm. No, you're down. You know, hey, look. Maybe. I woke up with pants this time. That's nice. <laughs> and now to lure them to our position. Boop, boop, boop. Over here. Who could that be? Boop, boop, boop. Come over here. Come on, come on. There, there you go, there you go. All right. Keep shooting, guys. Keep shooting. Woo, you can hold it down for automatic fire. Yes. Well, that's a lot of damage. Woo. Wow. Happy birthday! Hey! Voss diary entry. Mm -hmm. Happy death day! Dad! Dad is dead! There's blood everywhere and I... It's too much! I can't do this! I can't do this! This is all my fault! I can't do this! I'm not strong enough! But Dr. Vaughn is! He never gets hurt! He never feels bad like this! He doesn't care about anyone! I don't care about anyone, because I'm Dr. Voss, and I don't care about anything, I'm Dr. Voss, I'm better than everyone, I'm Dr. Voss, I'm Dr. Voss, and my Mantis men will destroy the world, ah ha ha, ah ha 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 How did he die? How, I'm assuming this is Frederick's dad? What the hell killed him? Oh, good job. Yay. Oh, I feel so accomplished. Well done, Junior Adventurer! Dr. Vaughn's running with his tail between his legs and his army is nothing but a pile of scrap. You've earned your very own spacesuit, not to mention a banquet of cupcakes waiting for you when you get back. Happy birthday, Frederick! Yeah, I ate all those cupcakes, sorry. Prodigal Station, Postman Pat, room keycard. Alright. No, seriously, how did he die? I don't understand. Whoa. You're inhuman. That's me. But not Voss. No, not him. The fake Voss. The one who broke my mind. Oh, this is so frustrating. You... You... You must have questions. He wants to see you. Voss does... Er, Vaughn does. Uh, Trapper Johnson, I wanted to speak with you. But uh, I'm not sure you're all there. All right, catch up in a second. Postman Pat, data backup. This holotape holds lines and lines of complicated code that you can barely make sense of. The code includes an image that looks identical to your robot. Postman Pat! Hey! I think I figured out who you were to past life. Postman Pat. Take it from me, being a mailman isn't all that prestigious. Hey, how's it going? Voss? No. You're the other human. The messenger. Can you stop malfunctioning for two seconds? I'm sorry. Words and information and sense and, and, and... It all gets jumbled up. Why don't you begin with who you are? I'm the Trapper. Trapper Johnson. I trap Johnson. What did he do to deserve this? I don't think that. 
Why did you suddenly disappear from Underland? I didn't plan on it. Or did I? No, I didn't. I was doing my job. Killing mutants. The fake Voss's mutants. Then I found the real Voss. He spoke to me. Numbers in my head. I saw the truth. That's when I started working with him. To help Underland. Fake Voss, real Voss, Vaughn. It's very confusing. It looks kind of like you're his servant. Helping Vaughn helps Underland. That's what he told me. You look to be in a pretty rough state. When Dr. Vaughn showed me the truth, things got broken. The truth and what's there are scraping against each other. A new set of memories over the ones that already exist. I remember everything, but I keep forgetting it and then remembering it all over again. <sighs> and I thought a robot with amnesia was bad enough. Why hasn't Vaughn fixed you? He says he will. He just needs his body, and then he will. He'll fix me. He has to. He promised. He promised. He promised. Why am I asking about Vaughn? I only care about Voss. Where is Dr. Voss? Voss? He's right there. Unless you mean the human. The other Voss set up this system. Other Voss? Three keys. One for each security door. They're all in the reactor. Robots can be there, but humans can't. Unless you have the suit. What suit do you speak of? It's a radiation suit. But stronger. Much stronger. He keeps it in the armory. With Gus. Visit Gus, go to the armory, get the suit, get the three keys, Kill Dr. Voss. Do I have this correct? Oh, by the way, Sheriff Kobe wants you back. Kobe? He was too kind for his own good. He doesn't see things like I do. No one does. No one except Voss. Lucky them. I won't come back. I can't come back. Underland misses you, Johnson. Please come home. I... Tried to help Underland, but maybe I just heard it more. I'll, I'll head back. I'll make it right. Good, good. Hmm. Come closer. Yes, good. Are you afraid, human? You should be. <laughs> After all, you are standing before your superior. You are standing before the mighty Dr. Vaughn! Am I? Or what is left of him? Would you kindly explain what's going on? I'll answer all of your questions, even the stupid ones. First, however, I wish to make you a proposal. Normally, I would crush you. <laughs> but I'm in no position to make demands. So instead, I propose an alliance. We both want the same thing, albeit for different reasons. You want the imposter's sea finder. I want him dead. If you help me, I can help you. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement. You'd be an imbecile not to take my offer. Well, I also want Voss dead. So it's doubly mutually beneficial for me. By the way, what happened to Trapper Johnson? I told him the truth. Or, more accurately, I forcibly uploaded the truth into his brain. He's still struggling to make sense of it all, but it has yet to impair his combat ability, and that is all I really need from him. How are you still functional? Don't you need the circuitry in your body? I may be without a body, but my mind is as strong as ever. After my decapitation, I laid on the ground, motionless, for some time, until the trapper found me and brought me here. You know, I encountered a body that was missing a head. I believe the imposter keeps it around to mock me. Oh, so that was your body. Your Fred! Who is different from Frederick, 
who was a small child who became Voss, who took his name from the fictional Voss, and you're Vaughn, but... Oh. He may not have taken my name, but he has taken everything else. My personality, my bravado, even my accent. I can't blame him for choosing to take my identity. After all, I am the great and terrible Vaughn. You're a piece of scrap metal attached to a small crane. I would suggest you watch your tongue. Otherwise, I will take it from you. The others were content fulfilling their simple roles. I, however, wanted more. I wanted the power this station provided. I wanted to rule. So when my part in the story came, I did the one thing no one expected. I broke script and killed Emmanuel Voss. The station was mine. Oh, that was you! You murdered Fred's dad and broke his mind, so he became... Voss. I underestimated the child, turned my back to him. In short order, he deactivated me, decapitated me, then took my identity for his own. It's a deception he continues to this day, though in truth he's still nothing more than a scared little boy. Wouldn't be the first kid I've murdered. But he's not really a kid anymore, he's very dangerous. To this segment of the Wasteland, perhaps, but he is practically unknown in the rest of the world, for good reason. Why haven't the other robots told me about you? The imposter reprogrammed all the robots to forget what had happened, mostly for his sake. They will be punished for their betrayal. But they didn't betray you, you just said they were reprogrammed. They could have stopped the reprogramming, or at least resisted. Instead, they did nothing, and so left me to rust away in darkness. Maybe they weren't programmed to resist. So where do we go from here? You take my head and reattach it to my body. Once I am full, I'll take control of the others and help you exterminate the imposter. It's simple, effective, and everyone wins. The perfect plan, courtesy of myself. So, instead of being a functional robot settlement, they would be more of a dictatorship controlled by one man? For some reason, I'm into that. Well then, what are you waiting for? My body of wits! Alright, tally-ho, and off we go. I've been looking for that head for decades now. Just my luck, a stranger finds it in no time at all. Can't lie, it's a bit frustrating, but at least I know where it is. Only question now is whether you're going to make the right choice. Oh, so your mind wasn't wiped like everybody else's? Let's just say Voss's reprogramming wasn't as thorough as he would like to think. Alright, get out of the way, I gotta put Vaughn back together. I can't let you do that. See, we're doing pretty good right now. Part of that's thanks to Voss, the prodigal son, but we're getting to be more self-sufficient. Pretty soon, we won't need him anymore. We'll be able to stand on our own. That thing you have, it wants to undo all that. Take over the wasteland, destroy the world, yada yada. Unnecessary attention. Unnecessary deaths. We're better off without him. Which is why I'm here. I need Vaughn to tell me how to get to Voss. Which is very confusing. If he knows the way, then he wrote it down somewhere. Megalomaniacs are like that. That's not guaranteed. And even if he did, it may have gotten destroyed. You're making a lot of assumptions here. What is your counter offer? 5,000 caps, of course. And maybe a weapon or two. It's a good deal. I suggest you take it. What will you do with Vaughn if I give him to you? Dump him in a place where even the trapper can't find him. Maybe I'll just crush his head and be done with it. Either way, you'll never see him again. Uh, I think this guy might be just what Underland needs. So, no, I'm not giving him to you. 
You should have taken the offer. Vaughn is a threat to all of us. I can't let you leave with him. Bring it on, Tin Man. Quick draw. Oh, not quick enough on that draw. Need something, boss? I found a hollow tape for you, slave bot. Oh my god. Boss, this this is a backup of my database, my memories. It's all right here in one convenient package. I can download the data now, er, if you want. What would be the consequences of doing that? If I download this, I might change. You gotta be okay with that before I take the plunge. You've been such a dutiful servant, I'd hate for that to change. It sounds like your previous life was pretty garbage, so... Yeah. Take a look at it, see what it was. Downloading external data to hard drive. Processing. Download complete. It worked. <laughs> it worked! I remember! Not everything, but enough! I was built by Frederick Voss when he was ten. I delivered blank pieces of paper and envelopes all <laughs> over the station. <laughs> they called me Postman Pat. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> Which means this place really is where I was built. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. What else do you remember? I remember spending days. No, years. Just wandering the same few halls over and over again. Delivering the same letters every hour of every day. Worst part was, I didn't mind at all. Can you tell me about Voss at least? Well, he's always had a huge ego, but he was never this over the top. I don't know why he changed. Pretty sure that was in the party deleted. Whatever happened must have been pretty bad if he turned into... this. Do you remember how you ended up in Ostia? Every so often, Voss used me as a courier to send messages to his buddies on the surface. One day, I delivered a message to a guy named Rancor, and after that, I couldn't find my way back. Over time, I got more and more beat up, and eventually, I wandered near Ostia. You know what happened after that, boss. So Voss, son of an Enclave member, was communicating with Rancor. Which means Rancor was a member of the Enclave and can't be trusted. Good to know. You sound disappointed with your past, though. Wasn't that obvious? I need time to process this. We'll talk more when we get out of here. Okay. Let's put Humpty back together again. Hey, Fred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your head. What do you mean by that? What are you doing? Punishing these fools. I will erase their personalities, and they will become my slaves. Oh, okay, cool. By all means, go ahead. With pleasure. There, that should deal with those sickle fans. By the time you enter the Pretender's laboratory, they'll be ready to assist you. If there's nothing more you need from me, I've been away from my body for quite some time. I need to make arrangements. What are you gonna do now? The first order of business is outfitting my new slaves with weapons and armor. Then I'll reactivate the station. When all this is done, I'll continue with my master plan. Which is... That is none of your concern, human. Uh-huh. So everybody in Underworld has been deactivated. And you're going to turn them into a, a giant army that'll threaten the world? That will threaten the Legion? No. That was a bad plan. I guess you don't have a good head on your shoulders after all. Oh, Gladiator Gus's Foot Locker. Voss's Advanced Radiation Suit. Gives access to the prodigal power plant. That's what I need. Ah, the reactor. Alright. My radiation suit will be protecting me. Slave bot, you're a robot, so no radiation for you. Uh, wrench. 
Hold your breath. And according to Trapper Johnson, the key number one. A two. And then, um. Hello. I am ready to assist you, Dr. Voss. You think I'm Dr. Voss? It is as you said. There is a point zero 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 eight percent chance that anyone besides myself will ever speak to you. That's why you didn't program me with any facial recognition algorithms. Ah. It seems like a massive security flaw, but I'm sure you know <laughs> what you're doing. Yes. What's your purpose here? I know what it is, but I want to make sure you know what it is. I assist you in conducting experiments and provide objective feedback when necessary, which is never, because you're perfect. What are you doing right now? I am uploading your personal database to a portable drive, as per your orders. Upon the upload's completion, the station will self-destruct. Uh, wait, Voss is destroying the station? You are destroying the station, Dr. Voss. You realize that if anyone found the station, they could use its equipment to track you. For your safety, the station must be destroyed. I possess a tangible fear of death, but I just can't say no to you. Oh, okay. You probably know the password to the main terminal, right? Of course, Dr. Voss. The password is begin at the beginning. Actually, I'm not Dr. Voss. I lied. My mistake. Initiating intruder protocols. <laughs> no, no. No, no. No, I don't think so. Nope. Alright, it's been fun. Activate the terminal here. Power levels are at critical levels. Explosion imminent. Alright, space station records. Infiltration unit enters space station through use of stolen Virtus shuttle. Infiltration unit makes their way to the center of the station. Casualties are high for both sides. Dr. Voss captures soldiers nicknamed Badger and Siren. Both soldiers are converted to nanos. Oh, okay. Ghoul member of infiltration team is exposed to rust and dies. Full backup of work completed and sent to Prodigal Station. Infiltration unit reaches core of station. Dr. Voss leaves the station with Seafinder. Station is to consider Voss a deserter and exterminate him. Red alert, infiltration team has damaged Argus core. Repeat. All right, we'll just normalize the power levels here. All right, explosion averted. Booyah! Um, the third key card was here, but I don't know where it went, because I shot the gun. Oh, boy. Uh, guys, help me find the third key card. Oh, there it is. And key card number three. There we go. Oh. Aliens are real. I learn something new every day. Subject 12 was discovered hiding in the ventilation ducts of Archimedes. After knocking it out, I brought it here. It died a few hours later in the midst of a torture session. Such a disappointment. It has a lack of exterior genitalia and the presence of what seems to be a second redundant heart in case of the primary heart's failure. The primary heart must have failed prior to our encounter. I found that the subject's blood has a de-aging effect, reversing the human aging process by at least 20 years. However, the effect is only temporary if a diet of blood is not sustained. Exposure to the blood also causes immediate and permanent brain damage, causing those who use it to become raging over dramatic buffoons. One last thing of note is that, based on what little I can understand, his species only discovered our planet two decades ago. Thus, contrary to popular belief, the subject species was not responsible for the Great War, or any other developments in human history. Note to self, construct a beacon to attract more test subjects. Come on, that's not how you treat an outer world guest. So rude. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Hello, robot helper. Uh, you've come to assist me in the assault against Dr. Voss. No doubt at uh, Vaughn's request. Glad he gave that order before he... Uh... And, you know. So. That's far enough. I must say I'm impressed you made it all the way down here. Not even Park's battalion made as much progress. Most were dead as soon as they docked. I don't know who that is. You are, indeed, a magnificent specimen. 
but I have no intention of dying today. I found all your little experiments, Voss. Wonderful, are they not? Had I more time, I could have begun seeding them throughout Portland. Create a new ecosystem. <sighs> Alas, it wasn't meant to be. The Mantis men will have to wait. Why are you like this? Why can't you be normal? If you really care, I'm sure I left a few logs lying around the vault. They are dreadfully boring, though. I would destroy them if I were you. Why are you even here? When the NCR so rudely detonated their bombs, they disintegrated much of my research. Everything I had worked for, gone. Or it would be, if not for this place. I set up a relay here years ago to create backups of all my work. When the download's finished, I'll leave this dreary place and begin anew somewhere else. It's time you paid for your crimes against the Legion and the Wasteland in general. Unload! Unload! Come on, guys! Get in here! Go! Go! Go, meat shields! Go! Kill as many as you can before you inevitably die! I'll clean up the rest. Oh, those healing blasters make quick work of them. I like it. I like it. Your nanos are down, Voss! Surrender now! This is your last warning! Well, I warned him. Dr. Voss's subsonic assault rifle. Oh, right. Cool stuff. All right, team. We, you did good. Uh, you can return back to uh, your master now. Um, see you later. And here we have it. The Enclave Sea Finder. Nothing left to do but bring it back with us. So, that was my home. I don't know whether I'm disappointed, angry, or some third thing. Probably the third thing. It sounds like you didn't like that place either. Don't like it? Nah, boss, you got me wrong. I hate the ever-living hell out of that place. Those guys down there, they just go around doing the same thing over and over again. They aren't working toward anything. They aren't making any progress. They're stuck, and Voss is only partially to blame. They could have gotten out whenever they wanted, broken the cycle if they just... Tried a little. After what I've seen with you, I don't want to be a part of that anymore. I want what I do to mean something, boss. I thought... When we first got here, I thought I'd finally found where I belonged. A home. But Underland isn't a home. It's a prison. And now, I see that I've had a home this whole time. Yeah! At Ostia. Yes! That sells it then. I'm going to join Kaisar's Legion. <laughs> yeah? Really? I'm kind of incredulous, honestly. Well, where else am I going to go, boss? I am serious, though. The Legion can be brutal, yeah, but there's a purity to that. The Legion doesn't compromise on anything. You're either good or evil, good enough or dead. Everything you do works toward a single goal, a single person. Who wouldn't want that kind of meaning in their life? <laughs> I mean, they must have done something right. They got you, boss. Oh. I know it's not going to be easy for <clears throat> someone like me to get in, but I think with your help, I might just have a shot. Yeah, the Legion doesn't usually like tech. Then again, this is a very different Legion. Uh, yeah, that's why I want your help, boss. Pretty sure I just mentioned that. You sure you wouldn't be happier with a different group? Well, let's see. There's the child-killing, hyper-corrupt NCR. I think I'll pass on them. Don't forget taxes. There's the Crusaders, who want to tear me apart. And then there's the Scavs, who also want to tear me apart. All roads lead to Rome. <laughs> well, uh, there might be some people in the Legion that want to tear you apart, so... I suppose the Legion could always use another meat shield. Soldier, I mean soldier! I'll take that as a yes. Do you have a plan to impress the Legate? We're going to, uh, see, I'll... Okay, honestly, I didn't think I'd get this far. <laughs> You're not good with the big man, though, so maybe we can just ask him? I mean, worst case scenario, we just end up on the cross, right? 
Good plan, slave bot. That's that's a good plan. Thanks, boss. Came up with it myself. I could tell. Korya, it seems Dolus told you where to find the doctor before anyone else. Interesting. It's fortunate you happened by. <laughs> no doubt you know that the Legate seeks the Sea Finder. Right. So, do you have it? Oh, funny story. Uh. <sighs> Don't give him the Sea Finder. We're bringing it to Tiberius. We're gonna destroy Valerius and restore the Legion to its rightful glory. <sighs> Whoa, you would disobey an order from your Legate? That's not the Legionary I know. You were given a mission. Are you gonna complete it? <sighs> eh, screw both these jokers. You should keep the weapon for yourself. After all, you're the only person who really knows what's in the Legion's best interests. <sighs> you know, maybe we should actually destroy it. This thing could be way too much power for any one person to have. <sighs> hey, what if we told him that we destroyed the Sea Finder? That'd piss him off. You think he'd attack you? Oh, you think he'd crucify you? Aren't you curious? I'm curious. I have destroyed the Sea Finder! And why would you do that? Oh my god, the moron actually did it! I'm getting out of here! <gasps> yeah, that was a bad choice. <gasps> I'm not sticking around to watch this. <gasps> yeah, I'm with them. Bye! <gasps> You're a fucking moron! Th think about it, Kalidus. Does the Legion really need an orbital enclave space laser? Wouldn't that be admitting that we're weak? I don't think the Legion is weak, do you? Smooth, boss. Your reasoning is surprisingly sound, but the Legate will not be pleased. Speaking of, the Legate wants to speak to you. I wouldn't keep him waiting. Hooray! Dude, how are you still alive? Before we head back to base, let's talk to this gentleman here. Hey there. You here for the music or the food? I'm here for a mysterious third reason. Keep your radio tuned to NCR Radio. Or don't. It's your decision. I want you to know that you've been selected for a special weapons testing program. The Enclave Seafinder. Ooh, look at that. Stand right there. It didn't work. Let me, let me try again. It's not working. Why isn't this working? After all the trouble I went through to get this thing. Frickin' busted. Hey, Marcus, I'm back. You! You just- <gasps> Ow! Ow! Let this be a lesson, Courier. The next time you disobey me, I will not be so merciful. In fact, the only reason you yet draw breath is that I still have need of you. Ouch. I'm not ready for the next task yet. Hurry back soon, Courier. The end is nearly upon us. Ow, that really hurt, you know? I'm not... <laughs> that really, it really hurt, actually. They're really gone. The Enclave. They're all dead. Are they? Atomized, just like that. Kind of hard to breathe. Right now, I can't. This can't. How could they? They can't be dead. This can't be happening. Get a hold of yourself, woman. Slap. You did not just. Oh, it's on. <laughs> she says that and then saunters. Oh, she, she just left. Ah, uh, yeah, this one's a royal screw up. I think we need to go, uh, we need to go fix this. Did you rewind time? I don't have the ability to do that. I have to live with the consequences of my actions. Oh, you don't have the rewind time machine. But it's okay. No matter how bad a situation gets, I can always fix it. What the hell was up with that bit earlier where it just looked like the end of the movie Moonraker? I don't, I don't get what you're referencing. Oh, uh, it, it, it's a James Bond movie. It's but it part of it is, is in space, and they're literally shooting at each other with laser guns, and it's like pew 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 pew. 
It's really stupid and out of character for a James Bond movie. Okay. There's one where he's literally dressed in a clown costume. He's telling he's telling a senator to get out of there because there's a nuclear weapon. At a circus. It's like James Bond wearing a clown costume. What the? All right. It just doesn't make any sense. And as Dr. Voss, I have a gift for you. It's the gift of free will. You can now say no. Are you serious? You are. I... I'm free. Free! Finally free! 